Hey guys, what's up? It's Give One Three Seven. Uh, sorry, I've taken so long to upload another episode of um, the uh, goalkeeping news, but I've been extremely, extremely busy with uh, football recently. Now that I've been playing for South Yorkshire, I trained for them on a Friday night, so I can't really get a video up on Friday because I have school until lunchtime. Then I have to get my kit ready, and then I have to go all the way out to Doncaster to train. So I'm sorry that I haven't got a video up recently. But uh, my friend um, reminded me today to put one up, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it for him. Um, what I thought I'd do today is about caring, how a goalkeeper cares for themselves and their equipment. Obviously, all outfield players, all they have to do is wash the kit, wash the boots. With those goalkeepers, it's wash the kit, wash your boots, and wash your gloves. Obviously, I made a glove washing video the other week for Jazz Spaz 6. Uh, I also need to do a match preparation glove thing for, oh, I can't remember his name now, someone asked me to do it, so I'm going to be putting that one up sometime, hopefully this week, maybe Wednesday, because I've got the day off, but um, yeah, this video is about how to take care of it, obviously I've shown you that it's lukewarm water to wash your gloves, you don't need any specialist like washing stuff for it. Obviously, most of you are my age or younger, so your parents will be washing your own kit for you. Or if you are quite uh, independent, you'll wash your kit for yourself. So I don't know how to tell you that because everyone washes it in the same. Everyone washes it either the same way or in their own kind of special way. But as for washing boots, I need to do that recently because I played for South Yorkshire in North Yorkshire, so it was a Yorkshire derby on Saturday, and the pitches were um, pretty dire. Especially in the boxes, it was about a foot under, about that much, not a foot, about two, three inches underwater, and it was really muddy, so it was all boggy. So, my Adidas boots, which I use for South Yorkshire, I use the Umbros for Stocksbridge. My Adidas ones are, they went from being black to brown, which is quite a hard thing to do, but I need to give them a wash so I can use them again next Saturday when we go to play Cumbria in Carlisle. It's going to be a horrible trek up there, three hour trip from. Uh, Doncaster up there because I get I get picked up from Doncaster Bobby car to go to away games but how I wash my boots bucket of water outside probably most of the time I don't wash them inside uh, dip the toe in and then I get an old rag or a, like something dark that I can just rub off all the mud with I do the same with the heel except I don't dip it in enough so that the inside of the boot will get wet and then I just rub all the mud off and I'll sometimes give them a polish if I want them to look good and new the way I some people think that you can stick your boots in a dryer I would not recommend that because it'll shrink especially if it's leather leather it'll wreck the leather it'll dry it out and it'll be really rough and horrible and not have the same feel as a uh, leather boot should do also if it's synthetic it will sometimes melt the synthetic material like I've had it with a pair of Nike Mercurials that I had a long time ago I used to put them in the dryer and it completely wrecked the synthetic material they start to melt and become all blotchy and horrible so I had to throw them boots away unfortunately and get a new pair but if you just it's, it's easier to wash mud off synthetic boots just because the material is nice and flat and there's no like crevices in it and all it needs is just warm water and a damp cloth and just rub it off and you're fine but with leather boots it does take a lot more to do but yeah that's all I can really think of for this video I've not really put much I'm sorry I've not really put much thought into this video but I thought I'd get one up just so I can keep you guys a bit more interested obviously I've not done one for a while but yeah so that was the uh, goalkeeper news I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will try my hardest to make one for Friday as it's been your boy given one three seven. I hope you enjoyed the video.